Hi, hello, namaste. So today I am going to talk about Indian political system. So now, first, democracy. It was introduced by Athenians in of Greece during 5th century BCE. Out of all countries in the world, only 123 countries are democratic countries. So in modern democratic government, uh, governments, there are two types of systems. One is uh, one is uh, they are classified into two types. One is parliamentary system, and second one is presidential system. India is one of the biggest democratic nations in the world, and it follows the parliamentary system. Now we may get the question: Why not presidential? The answer is diversity. Yes, India is known for social and cultural diversity. There are approximately 3,000 castes and 9 uh, recognized religions in India. So, for dividing the power of decision making or law making, we adopted uh, the parliamentary system. Uh, again, uh, again, it can be achieved only by a parliamentary system. So, in parliamentary system, the executive is always responsible for the judicial uh, legislature. Uh, executive uh, is always responsible for the legislature. So, executive means a person or a body who implements or executes a plan uh, and legislature is who takes actions. It's simple. So, you uh, you may have seen that in parliament sessions, the member of parliament uh, members, they question prime minister regarding his policies and his uh, governance. And he must answer to all the questions because he is responsible for the legislature. He is the executive and he is responsible for the legislature. Now, President of India is a nominal executive. He has to take advice from PM and Prime Minister and Council of Ministers. There are again three parts of Indian Parliament. That is Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha and, Pres uh, and President of India. Before we discuss this, let us uh, discuss about the uh, Indian legislature. Indian legislature has two bodies. Indian legislature has two bodies. They are Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha. What they do? They pass or make uh, make laws, and Prime Minister and the Cabinet Ministers implement those laws. So now, now let us discuss the three parts. First one is Lok Sabha. In Lok Sabha, people of India directly elect candidates. They have a fixed term of five years. There are 545 seats in that uh, we they have a fixed term of five years. There are and in which 543 seats are elected through elections from Indian states and union territories. And the remaining two members are elected by the president of India. And seats may vary. So what is the factor to decide a specific number of seats allowed to each state and uh, union territory union territories? So the answer is population. Yes, uh, so that's the reason why Uttar Pradesh is having more number of candidates because it is more uh, population. And after general election, the Lok Sabha members elect one person from Lok Sabha. Prime Minister elect one person from Lok Sabha as the speaker and to help speaker, they elect two other people as uh, deputy speakers. And uh, they maintain discipline during sessions of Lok Sabha and Lo uh, Lok, uh, Lok Sabha. And it is a term of five years and uh, Prime Minister is the head of it. But it can be dissolved before five years under some circumstances. Only President can dissolve on advice of Prime Minister. Now, let us discuss about Rajya Sabha, the upper house. Members of State Legislative Assembly elect Rajya Sabha members. It means... Rajya Sabha members are not directly elected by the people. Uh, MLA is elected by people elect the Rajya Sabha members. So, President nominates 12 people in Rajya Sabha. The maximum seats of Rajya Sabha is 250. Currently, there are 245. And out of 245, 233 members are chosen by State Legislative Assembly. And President appoints uh, remaining 12 members. He appoints these 12 people on the basis of the specific knowledge or in their contribution of, let's say, for example, sports or revenue, etc. And working. Now, the Vice President of, uh, President of India is a, uh, is a chairperson of Rajya Sabha. 
whereas Lok Sabha members elect deputy chairperson from themselves. Uh, and it is known as permanent house of parliament. And third factor of Indian parliamentary system is president. He is the component of parliament. Uh, members of Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha elect the president of India. He serves for the term of five years. His responsibility is to examine the laws and bills passed by the parliament. Now, the question comes, how the decision or bills are made in parliament of India? We discussed about Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha, eligibility and the election process. Now, when it comes to law making, both Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha have equal power except in the case of finance. In finance, Lok Sabha holds more power. What is the procedure of decision making, like type of bills? There are four type of bills. Money bills, financial bills, constitutional amendment bills and ordinary bills. Money bills related to taxes, uh, funds, accounting, etc. Financial deals with the revenues or expenditure. These two bills can be introduced in Lok Sabha on recommendation of President after getting majority of votes for the bill. Sends the bill to Rajya Sabha. It can suggest some changes in the bill within 14 days. But even if Lok Sabha in the bill, uh, uh, but even if Lok Sabha says no to these changes, Parliament has to pass financial uh, or uh, money bills. Uh, so now constitutional amendment bills, amendment amendment suggesting a change in constitution. It can be uh, anything in both houses without recommendation of president. Amendment bill has to gain a majority in Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha separately. It goes to the president and when it passed with both uh, both houses, he has three choices. He can approve or he can withhold or he can return it. Ordinary bill related to general matters introduced in uh, both the houses and can be passed by a simple majority. Diversity, a word that perfectly it describes uh, in India its culture and Indian way of way of life. Now let us discuss more detailly about uh, how a law is how a law decision is made. Uh, in the state, uh, members of legislative assemblies uh, they 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 have they have the responsibility and central member of parliament member of parliament members. Now there is again a union list where sent a union list is again sent or uh, it comes under central government laws like finance, banking, defense, railway, etc. State list, agriculture, police, land, liquor, public health, etc. It comes under state list. And concurrent list uh, is uh, which both uh, which both can apply, which central and state can apply. That is education, trade union, etc. Now what is the procedure? Now. What is the procedure for central government? First, how it makes a, a law or a decision? First, uh, pub, uh, public by public demand or um, any party's ideology or any community demand. So what they do? What they do is they give their idea in the form of a bill and send to Rajya Sabha or Lok Sabha. After passing to uh, both the houses, it passes to the president and gets as an act and it is implemented by IAS officers. Now again there are two bills, public bill and private bill. Public bill, defense and finance, it comes under that. Private bill, uh, like non-minister, MPs, like generally presented by opposition parties. And again, now there are three steps. Let's, I'll give you an example. Let's say for example, Let's say, for example, uh, an ordinary bill is passed in Lok Sabha. It undergoes three steps. First step is introduction. They introduce the bill. First, they'll introduce the law. Second, they'll have a discussion on it. Third thing, uh, and discussion uh, under that, they'll uh, if changes they need means they'll do any changes. And third thing is the voting stage. I think this voting stage, as you all know, when they get majority of votes uh, of that particular bill or law, 
then it gets passed to Rajya Sabha. Then again the same procedures, three procedures, introduction, discussion and voting stage. Then after three stages, uh, if there are changes, it will send to Lok Sabha. And if there are no changes, it passes. Uh, it, the bill gets passed to the president, and it is made. It gets approved, and it it's made. It uh, it is made as an act or law. And if there is disagreement from both the sabhas, then what they'll do? There will be a joint session conducted by the president, and he tries to discuss, and they try to discuss and pass on as an act. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.